Good morning. Welcome to another video. Adam here. I'm uh, back in Algonquin Park. I'm in the second week of November. Late fall trip, as you can imagine, pretty cold out. It's going to be an interesting trip. I've never done a trip this late in the year. I'm sure I'll have my pick of sights. Just going to paddle around and see what I can find. You can see it's a little bit of blue behind me and, and in front of me. The sun's starting to poke through, which is which is pretty awesome. Wasn't expecting that. But um, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a cold trip. It's going to be a cold trip for sure. Single digits during the day, uh, freezing or below at night. I actually have a hot tent. It's a tent that I've tried out once before. Haven't been on a solo trip all year, so looking forward to uh, some time alone. Just taking my time, doing what I want to do, go at my own pace, and uh, you know, bring you guys with me. So stick around. Uh, I think it's going to be a good trip. I hope uh, hope you guys enjoy it. All right, guys. So made it to site. Absolutely beautiful site. This is one of those massive party animal sites where you can put tents everywhere, and you know you can spread out a lot of flat space. So super, super nice site. Just a ton of space to kind of roam around and uh, you know do my thing. So uh, yeah, looking forward to it. I'm gonna uh, start unpacking.
4.30. I finally completed the majority of camp tasks. That tent takes a little bit of, you know, messing around to get it kind of the way you want it. And I've, I've basically guide out every single section because there is quite a strong wind coming off the lake. I'm gonna make sure that thing is, is sturdy for tonight. So next thing is firewood. It's really the last thing I have to do. I have to get basically two piles of firewood, one for inside the tent and one for outside the tent for the campfire. Uh, I will be cooking on the fire outside simply because uh, bears are still around. It is not winter yet. I do not want to be cooking uh, meat inside my tent. That's a recipe for disaster. So I'll cook outside, keep everything clean, uh, you know, get my food up in a up in a tree with the barrel, and when I'm ready, I can hop into the hot tent and uh, hopefully be warm. So that's the plan. I'm gonna go right now and and try to find some firewood inside. I want to probably get some better wood for that stove, but outside I'm I'm really not picky. Just something that burns is is good enough for me. Um, yeah. So let's get to work on the firewood. down here Six fifteen. Man, it's dark. But it is time to get this party started. Let's see how that does. So much for a sunset tonight. That's not happening. It's quite overcast. I don't think it's gonna rain, but it is overcast. So pretty much pitch black right now. There's a little bit of uh, light coming through the clouds, but for the most part, it's uh, sun is down and it's dark for the night. It's uh, about quarter to seven. I'm starting to kind of heat up my steak. I made a rookie mistake and um, froze it in this temperature. Not necessary. So, anyways, I'm just uh, thawing it out a little bit, building some coals, and then uh, gonna cook up a steak. So. Yeah, just relaxing a little bit. It's been a long day going non-stop. It's nice to just sit down and uh, relax a little bit. I have enough firewood. I don't, I don't have a ton, but I have enough firewood. You saw I put a bunch of firewood already in the hot tent, so 
I think that'll be enough for tonight. I don't want it to run all night. I just want it to, I guess, get, get, I just want it to basically get hot in there for when I go to bed. I have a, a minus nine sleeping bag, so it's, it's, it's not needed to go all night. Um, but yeah, I still have a lot of wood back there that I can process if I need to, but yeah, anyways, just sitting back and relaxing a little bit, enjoying this fire. It is quite cold out. The wind has died down, which is fantastic. That was the main reason why it was so cold earlier. But the, uh, yeah, the wind's died down and now it's just the ambient temperature is, is, is cold. So, but it's all good in front of the fire. So yeah, I'll catch up with you guys when I start dinner. I've had this stove running for like 15 minutes and it is so nice and toasty in here. <laughs> you can see jackets off. I'm just chilling here. It's so nice. So as you can see, this is my setup for the night. I have a cot, just a, a really low cot, thermarest, and my minus nine uh, sleeping bag for when the fire goes out. But yeah, this is super comfortable. I think I'm just gonna call it a night. Might watch a movie. I brought a little tablet out. Crawl into the sleeping bag and go to bed. So I'm exhausted, it's been a long day, so. Anyways, if you're still watching, I appreciate you watching. I will uh, catch you guys in the morning. Have a good night.
morning guys it's been uh, relaxing just kind of walking around exploring the area a little bit it's a beautiful beautiful lake but uh, pretty treacherous out there in terms of the waves some pretty big waves and you can see white caps going right down the center of the lake so I think for the for the time being I'll just stay put and see how things uh, see if things calm down five degrees right now pretty cold when the winds hitting you and uh, yeah just enjoying myself uh, last night was fantastic in the um, in the hot tent. I got up to 20 degrees in there and uh, put on a movie and fell asleep to a movie. It was uh, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome way to fall asleep out here. The entire setup that I have, the, um, the Palmoly titanium stove and the, the Lux Megahorn, it weighs about 17, 17, 18 pounds total. So not terrible. You can lug it in. I only had two small portages to get in here, so it wasn't terrible. Just not much to do today, given the wind kind of keeping me windbound here. So I'll just kind of chill out. Anyways, yeah, I'll uh, catch up with you guys later. There's a tarp up there. It's like somebody put a tarp over the pooper. Anyways, just went around the corner, went to the next campsite, just thought I'd maybe get a change of scenery, get out on the water and see what the waves are like. They're not too bad. There were a couple waves going over the front of the front of the canoe, but I'm sure I could make it out if I had to, so. Just a little foreshadowing for tomorrow when I have to leave. I'm just going to cook up some lunch. I'm just doing ramen, nothing special. So I'll quickly get a boil going and uh, start cooking up some lunch. So if you've seen my other videos, this is the cook kit I've, I've used for the past few years. It's the same cook kit I used uh, to cross Algonquin, uh, which is good enough for me and my brother, enough for two people. So uh, 1300 mil, uh, Tokes titanium uh, pot. It has a bale as well as a handle. MSR Pocket Rocket 2. A little stand for the small uh, isobutane container. I have a GSI folding uh, spoon. Uh, Wildo fold a cup. This thing will open up and I have my oatmeal, uh, cereal or whatever. I'll have it in that. It's, it's big enough for that. And then this is the cup and I have coffee whiskey, everything through that. And then this is a small windscreen. This windscreen came from uh, an MSR Dragonfly. I cut it in half, rolled it up, and I put it in this container and it, it stays on top of the cook kit. So it's working well for me. I use it for all my quick meals, all my dehydrated meals, all my breakfast. I, I usually don't get elaborate with my breakfast because I'm moving every day. So this works well for me. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna use it now for cooking up some ramen.
Next guy should be pretty happy with that. It is 7.54. Woke up at about 6.15 this morning. And I've been uh, hustling, trying to get everything away as quickly as possible. The reason for the early wake up is to avoid the wind on this large lake. So far, so good. It looks similar to last night when I was out um, paddling during the sunset, but the Garmin is telling me it's gonna pick up quite significantly. So I'm gonna get on the water as soon as I have visibility. You can see the light is coming up around me, starting to get some pretty good visibility on the water. It looks like this uh, early wake up paid off, but fingers crossed, I should be on the water in about 15 minutes. Alright, it was actually a very pleasant paddle, so a couple windy sections but nothing nothing too bad, nothing to worry about. So very happy that that's done. Thankful that I made it back safe. I have two small lakes to uh, to get through to get back to the car, but um, I'll leave you guys here. Thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it. Appreciate the likes, I appreciate the comments. I know there's a few of you that like and comment on every single one. <clears throat> that uh, that means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. If you like what you're seeing, please uh, consider subscribing. I love making these videos. You know, even uh, you know, even if five people watch it, uh, I'm grateful. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. See you on the next one.